Hello all. Welcome to Career Launcher. With only 35 days to go to CAT 2021 as a part of our daily practice questions that have appeared in our mocks that we are releasing on YouTube. In this particular video you will be able to see Chipisar solving a question based on data interpretation that is based on line graphs from countdown cat 6 okay the di set uh, something that many people are a little uncomfortable because of calculation involved but please remember cat is not about calculations and when you have a huge amount of data end of the day four questions five questions cannot use the entire data they look at limited amount so your task is to first to understand the data when you look at the first look at the graph the good thing about the graph is look at almost all the points except one Lie on the grid lines, and the what are the numbers? Twenty, thirty, forty, fifty. Easy numbers to deal with. Similarly, look at the table at the bottom. Easy numbers to deal with. Percentage changes are not going to be difficult. Uh, so, so your task is to understand the data and then go to the question to see what is to be done. Don't start by making a table. Table should be made only if required. First, check the question. If all four questions require you to make a table, please do so. Otherwise, just go question by question and solve. So, let's get on with the data set. percent the line graph shows the percentage decrease in number of private lcvs and hcvs passing through the four highways a b c d due to covid 19 okay so first graph is explained the self explanatory nothing to be worried about that means through highway a the number of private vehicles passing is 20% less in 2020 as compared to 2019 okay table below shows the three categories of vehicles that pass through the four highways in 2019 and percentage decrease in income from toll tax in 2020 compared to 19 now now this also tells me that possibly i may need to apply the a plus b plus ab by, by 100 formula why because number of vehicles multiplied with average toll tax is equal to total toll tax so if this changes by a percent this changes by b percent this will be a plus b plus ab by 100 i should be aware that successive increments can be applied here okay and again these numbers are not difficult to handle so even if i have to calculate it's not going to be a major issue okay also the number of private vehicles passing through each of these highways was same in 2019 the same is true for the other two categories also so the number of vehicles is same across the four highways so if there are 120000 private vehicles passing through passing in 2019 in 2019 passing through a private vehicles will be 30 thousand to b will be 30 thousand c will be 30 thousand d will be 30 thousand now the weights are equal that mean the percentage change can be the weighted average for example okay let me just clean it up uh, so so what will be the uh, percentage reduction in the private vehicles overall it will be 1/4 of 20% 1/4 of 20% plus 1/4 of 30% Plus one fourth of this is ten percent, and one fourth of twenty five percent, or one fourth of twenty plus thirty plus ten ten twenty five. This last line has made my made my task very very easy. This becomes a arithmetic mean question rather than a weighted average question. Okay, now let's go to the question. See whether we need to make a table. First question talks about. Ratio of number of private vehicles that pass through A to that of light LCVs that pass through C. Only two data points required. The total number of LCVs passing through the four highways was what percentage less? This is a weighted average or arithmetic mean question, as I said. No table required. Percentage reduction in total income. Possibly I look at A plus B plus AB by hundred. Average toll tax again. Possibly A plus B plus AB by hundred is what is required. So I am not going to make a table. I'll go question by question and start. marking the answers as i calculate but keep the uh, please but please make sure whatever calculation do you do it neatly and the data is kept aside for use if required in the subsequent question okay ratio of number of private vehicles to a to that of lcvs to c okay so we need private vehicles to a in 2020 to lcvs to c in 2019 what was it 20 19 yeah so in 2019 the lcvs were total 80 lakhs 80000 which is equally divided between the four highways so c c is going to be only 20000 i am ignoring the c zeros as usual okay what will be the private vehicles private vehicles to a 
in 2019 was 120 by 4 so 30 in 2019 it was 30 and this is a reduction in 2020 of 20% 20 so 80% of 30 24 so the answer should be 24 is to 20 4 5 is a 24 6 the 6 is to 5 should be the answer second question the total number of light commercial vehicles passing through the four highways in 2020 what what percentage less than that in 2019 arithmetic mean question not weighted average because the weights are the same so lcv's the total percentage reduction is what we need to find okay what are the lcv's the dot so what is this this is 30 this is 40 this is 20 this is 20 so what should be one fourth of 30 plus 40 plus 20 plus 20 40 40 80 110 one one fourth of 110 percent is going to be half is 55 uh, half of 55 is 27.5 so this should be 27.5 percent third question percentage reduction total income from toll tax in 2020 compared to 2019 toll tax reduction in 2020 compared to 2019 is what we want so let's do the calculation so what's the toll tax in 2000 uh, again let me just remove zeros i will make my task somewhat easier yeah so 120 into 5 i'm the first of all calculating a toll tax in 2019 120 into 5 is 600 80 into 10 is 800 60 into 15 is 900 so total toll tax was 9 8 17 17 and 6 23 2300 what is the reduction here reduction is 25 percent so minus 150 uh, 40 percent reduction so 800 40 percent is 3320 and this is 50 percent reduction reduction is 450 so what is the total reduction uh, 450 750 okay 450 and 150 is uh, 600 plus 300 920 920 so answer should be 920 upon 23,000 2300 23 4s are 92 so this is going to be 40 percent this is equal to 4 by 10 23 into 10 10 23 into 4 so 40 percent okay question 4 if the average toll tax per hemi commercial vehicle in 2020 was equal for all four highways then in 2020 how much was it okay uh, possibly you can apply the a plus b plus a by 100 formula after all as i said number of vehicles into average toll tax should be equal to total toll tax okay so what is the reduction in the uh, I'll, I'll go by ratios rather than a plus b by a b by 100 okay so so 2020 upon 2019 is what i'll take toll tax has gone down by 50 percent so it has become half right what has happened to the number of vehicles we are talking about heavy commercial vehicles 40 40 percent plus 50 percent 90 40 plus 50 90 90 plus 30 120 920 plus 40 160 160 by 4 so this has gone down by 40 percent so minus 40 percent so it has become 6 by 10 uh, if, if there were earlier 10 vehicles now it has become 6 vehicle reduction 40 so it does become 6 by 10 this should be into new toll tax average toll tax divided by the old average toll tax was 150 so what should x be equal to 150 into 10 upon 6 into 2 yeah so how much does it become uh, 1500 by okay 25 6 